A significant revelation about EVs has emerged, making some even refer to EVs as a scam. It is shedding light on a concerning issue about electric vehicles. It appears that during the cold winter months, EVs are exhibiting unexpected behavior, transforming into essentially lifeless machines, leaving owners bewildered and stranded in remote locations. This has prompted a surge of EV owners desperately flocking to charging stations, only to discover that over 70% of these stations are non-functional. The predicament doesn't end there. In an ironic twist, EVs are losing their charge nearly twice as fast in winter conditions. Amidst these challenges, political leaders continue to downplay the severity of the situation, perpetuating the belief that EVs are the future. However, a careful examination of the circumstances may lead one to reconsider such claims. If you were contemplating the purchase of an EV, this information might be a game-changer. The question arises, are EVs a scam? Why they struggle to function effectively in winter conditions? More importantly, why is the government seemingly concealing this reality from the public? In this detailed exploration, we will delve into the stories of individuals who have endured the hardships of owning an EV during winter. The issue extends beyond mere inconvenience, it poses a threat to public safety. Charging stations are becoming increasingly crowded, and the current power grid is struggling to meet the surging demand. As a result, an impending market crash in the EV industry looms large with potentially severe consequences. Contrary to the widespread belief that EVs are the future, the reality in cold weather conditions paints a different picture. These vehicles, once hailed as revolutionary, behave unpredictably when temperatures plummet. Some drivers have experienced a staggering 41% reduction in range, making long road trips a daunting prospect. Throughout this winter, EV drivers find themselves grappling with anxiety over the diminishing range of their cars. Despite a record 1.2 million EVs sold in 2023, some owners are now questioning the wisdom of their choice. Waiting for hours in frigid conditions to charge a vehicle is far from anyone's idea of fun. The aftermath of these challenges is evident as people rush to exchange their brand new EVs for hybrids. Moreover, it's not just about inconvenience. EVs are posing serious safety risks, leading to unfortunate incidents. A critical factor contributing to the struggles of EVs in cold weather is their method of heat generation. Unlike traditional gas cars with excess engine heat to keep occupants warm, EVs rely on batteries. Unfortunately, batteries are less tolerant of cold temperatures, exacerbated by energy-draining heaters. The result is a perfect storm where even idling in an EV during winter can lead to a significant 40-50% to 50 reduction in range. Imagine investing tens of thousands of dollars in a cutting-edge, futuristic vehicle only to find it rendered ineffective in challenging weather conditions. In Chicago, the epicenter of the EV crisis, 60% of the city's tow trucks are busy towing stranded EVs. Consumer Reports tested popular EV models and discovered a 25-35% to 35 reduction in battery range during winter, affecting models from Tesla, Ford's F-150 Lightning, and even premium models from Lucid like the Lucid Air. As we delve deeper into this issue, it becomes evident that the allure of EVs is dimming in the face of practical challenges. The true viability of these vehicles in winter conditions raises valid concerns, prompting potential buyers to reconsider their choices. Despite a substantial government investment exceeding $3 billion last year, the current state of charging stations presents a stark reality. Contrary to expectations, three out of every five charging stations are malfunctioning. Those that are operational face challenges such as overcrowding and limited charging speeds. Consequently, we witness the emergence of massive graveyards of EVs parked on the roadside out of charge collecting dust. Even Tesla owners, best of these electric vehicles and charging networks, experience various warning messages before their vehicles stop responding altogether, leaving owners stranded. Despite being plugged into a supercharger for hours, an owner reported that the car refused to charge. Adding to the challenges, the cold weather and poor range contribute to soaring charging costs, especially for those who lack the ability to charge their EVs at home. But what about those who live in hot climates and may not be troubled by the cold-related issues? It turns out, the challenges with EVs go beyond temperature concerns. As we explore further, we encounter the disturbing revelation that EVs are associated with fatal incidents. Yes, gas cars also have accidents, but EVs have an additional variable that makes them much more dangerous. There are reports of accidents, one in particular of a Tesla Model S that had a severe crash into a palm tree. The situation took a tragic turn when the car's lithium-ion battery caught fire. The owner, trapped inside due to malfunctioning retractable door handles, lost his life. 
This is a chilling reminder of the potential dangers inherent in these high-tech vehicles. Regrettably, that was not an isolated incident. Similar incidents involving Teslas erupting in flames have been reported, including a shocking incident in a Shanghai parking garage. This alarming trend extends beyond Tesla, affecting other EVs as well. The root cause of these fiery incidents lies in the batteries, specifically lithium-ion batteries. While efficient at storing energy, they possess a dark side. If damaged or defective, they can enter a state known as thermal runaway, a chemical meltdown that leads to the battery getting hotter until it bursts into flames or explodes. Shifting focus to the overall reliability of EVs, a report from Consumer Reports delivers unsettling news. EVs are reported to face nearly 80% more problems than gas or hybrid cars. The primary culprits include battery and charging issues, along with problems related to battery panels and interior parts. Plug-in hybrid EVs fare even worse, grappling with 150% more problems than traditional vehicles. As if the reliability concerns weren't enough, the cost of repairs for these high-tech rides can be exorbitant. Instances such as a $60,000 repair bill for a scratch on a Tesla and a $50,000 bill for battery replacement raise significant concerns about the financial implications of owning an electric vehicle. While it's not all doom and gloom with EV prices on a downward trend, these challenges underscore the need for a comprehensive evaluation of the practicality and safety aspects of electric vehicles before making a purchase decision. In recent times, the electric vehicle landscape has witnessed a significant shift in pricing strategies, with Tesla leading the charge by slashing its prices on multiple occasions. Luxury brands like Audi and BMW are also entering the fray with substantial discounts. However, this price adjustment has created a ripple effect, causing challenges for major automakers such as General Motors and Ford. GM's CEO has made it clear that they are steering away from the budget EV route and instead focusing on luxury offerings. Ford, on the other hand, is grappling with a substantial financial setback, reporting a loss of under $4 billion from selling EVs at an alarming average loss of $36,000 per vehicle. As the industry faces this financial crunch and contends with the ongoing charging crisis, it is anticipated that EV prices will continue to experience a downward trend. This raises concerns for existing EV owners who may feel they are riding a metaphorical ticking time bomb. We're reaching out with a heartfelt request on behalf of Lewin, a dear friend of the channel. Battling sickle cell disease throughout his life, Lewin has shown incredible resilience despite losing two siblings to the same condition. His health is now at a critical juncture, but there's hope, a bone marrow transplant and bilateral hip replacement. Our channel, committed to this cause, directs all proceeds to support Lewin, but the reality is our earnings are barely enough to sustain the channel, let alone the initiative. This is where your generosity can make a tangible difference. We're immensely grateful for the donations received so far and encourage you to contribute to Lewin's treatment linked below. Every donation brings us closer to giving Loon the chance he deserves for a healthier future. Thank you for standing with us in this vital mission. Cold weather can make EVs finicky, and there are steps you can take if your EV refuses to charge. One common issue could be the battery being too cold, affecting its ability to accept a charge. Much like people, batteries don't perform well in freezing conditions. In such a scenario, your best course of action is to try and warm up the battery. A simple solution is to drive your car for a short distance, as driving generates heat, raising the battery temperature and facilitating more efficient charging. If driving isn't feasible, turning on the car and letting it run for a bit might also help, but be cautious about depleting your remaining battery charge. However, what if you're stuck and unable to get the battery to warm up? This is where roadside assistance becomes invaluable. In such instances, seeking help from a gas car owner might be a last resort. These challenges prompt a broader question. Are we truly ready to fully rely on EVs at this point? Could the issues surrounding EVs be indicative of a larger problem or even a potential scam? Share your thoughts in the comments below. On a related note, we made a video about the massive losses and hits Ford and GM are taking with their electrification ventures. Click here to watch it.